Hello. Hi, hi. It's us. The okay. Vapor Mists. Who said that? It's us. It's our catchphrase. It's us. It's us. Hello. 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 As if they didn't <laughs> friggin' know. Yes, well, obviously they're not saying us. Are they? Yeah. Do they come on our YouTube channel? I don't know what they do. I hope they bring <laughs> tissues if they do. <laughs> Sorry. <Hang on>. <laughs> <laughs> We know you like watching Andy and the same Eve Radio shirts. <laughs> yes. Can you see the Eve Radio shirt? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Anyway. Yes. Today, mm. we got a little sort of, mm. not a vendor mod. No. It's no. a British man in a pokey shed mod. Mm. It's, a, it's a Top Gear, not Top Gear, what's James May special. He likes people pottering about in sheds. A man's man. <laughs> we have steampunk. Yeah. Hell yeah, I love it. It's not a shiny shiny, like a shiny shiny, yeah. but it's cool. Mm. That's all I'd say. It, it it looks like there should be flames yeah. coming out of that Bunsen burner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lightsaber. Like Mini lightsaber. Actually. Put a tank on that, it looked like a 50k, wouldn't it? Mm, yep. In fact, <laughs> let's do just that with a trusty adapter. Yes, they are always handy. Are they, Jim? Yes, yes, they are. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and load. <laughs> yeah, been fired from an aircraft over Libya. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was a distress flare that took that one. Yeah, it's a French jet went running away. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. It fits good. Mm. This switch here. Would mm. you like to tell our lovely viewers about the switch and what 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 it was when it arrived and what it is now? Yes. Now that was a chair. Honest. <laughs> yeah, Whenever yeah, he yeah. starts turning green, I may have to modify that statement slightly. Now then, <laughs> <laughs> these are made by Rob Froted, and you can find him on UKB, or UK Papers. And uh, if you're interested in this after a review, look at it, look at it again, and you can contact him direct. Um, he does have a thread on there of the mods he does. This is one of them which I got. When it arrived, I couldn't use it because I can't press in on, on that one. And this is the joy, the absolute joy, of having a person who mods. As I emailed him or PM'd him and sort of went, oh, I can't use it. And uh, he said, right, well, post it back, no problem at all. Posted it back and he modified it for me. Free of charge, no problem. And he sorted it so I can now use it. Woohoo! You don't get that with main vendors, because obviously it's made for thousands of users. The joys of a proper modder, people, the person who does it yourself, is he can adapt it for you. If you, you know, use a bit of common sense pride for before and said, I don't think I'll be able to use that, he might have done it for me first. But he sorted it with no problem at all. That was absolutely excellent. Shed potterers, I salute you. Yes. Hey, look, I'm picking my nose with it. <laughs> 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 Please don't. <laughs> Would you like to break some green stuff? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I think uh, DJ's trying to get me to buy some ectoplasma to review. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> genuine flavour. Because he used his sock. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, really? Triple filtered. <laughs> Cheesy vape. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually. Oh God, no! I would like to have it, but Pete sorted out. Yes, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, the mod. <laughs> it's a very, it's very well made. It is completely solid. Um, well, apart from the fact that it comes off. But, 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 no, no, you know what I mean. It's made solid. <laughs> You're gonna have to invest in some brasso. <laughs> yes, brasso. I also like the carbon fibre. Mm. Yeah, that, that's very, a that very good effect. Sweet. Yes, and the leaf as well, so you don't. <laughs> it's not as bad as it could be, but uh, you know. Right, switches on these, as you can see. You've got your lock and 
What's it? Yeah, Peter Van Royal agent. Oh, oh look at you. I must have known him. <laughs> Not sure what. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your switch lock and, and stuff. Now, there are quite detailed destruction leaflet on what exactly you do and what you shouldn't do on this. And one of the, the things you don't do on this is to try and take off or lock the bottom switch here with the atty still screwed down. You have to undo it at least halfway. Or even better, just take it off for a few minutes while you adjust the switch to lock or to take off the switch to change your batteries. Now, this one was adjusted for me because I'm a six volt. I just take two uh, CR one two three A's. Hey, 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 hey. Sounds like a seagull since I knew that. Hey. So a lot to answer for oh, that. Oh Jesus! Yeah. <sighs> just keep reviewing. Just keep reviewing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you like to show the viewers how the switch comes off, Jim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is stuff you have baked in there. <laughs> That's a chair. <laughs> Taking offings. Let's get that off as well. Right. What you do is this. Now you see that little bit there. You've got to get the that there. To there, and then it'll just simply come off. Turn in, ta -doing. There you are. Silly spring that's not going to fly out when you undo it. Mm -hmm. And you can put the one, two, three A's, or like me, I'm three seven low resistance, so an eighteen six fifty. And I, I must apologise. I've had to use the ultra fire. They, the, the. Not going to go into the batteries, but normally I've got an AW in there, putting it on charge. Um, so my backups are trust uh, the ultra trust fire ones. And that ultra trust bit is in there, isn't it? There? <laughs> Don't worry. Carry but on, Mr. Mannering. <laughs> you can put in the one, two, three A's with plastic spacer that he sends out as well. And you just slide in there and then you pop them in, and then find the bit there. The little nubbin onto there, job done. And then you find where exactly you're going to get it for the switch, depending on whether your batteries have got the nubbin on the top, for the PCB. And as it says in the instructions, you've got to get the magic rattle, which is just enough space for the battery to uh, rattle about. And for the 18650s, it's on there. And I can feel the rattle. I don't know whether you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's there, yes. But you've just got to make sure you read the instructions on it. Yeah, I believe uh, Rob did say that he was trying to condense them a little bit. Um, but um, it, it is good reading. Yeah, and it's well worth it because you don't want to mess it up after you bought it. No, because I don't think you'd want to wreck that. No, to I be think honest, that looks it, cool. I, that that is cool. <laughs> shine it up, and that is awesome. It'll be a fingerprint magnet on the copper. Yeah, but oh, it does look good. Oh, you missed a bit. Did I? <laughs> oh, you haven't. <laughs> right, it's the paper. <laughs> you have that. Well, thank you very much. If I just go through a bit of the instructions again, it's actually included, as most potterers of sheds do, a full diagram of the working mechanisms, and essentially a blueprint. And, um, yeah. The print, it, you could probably condense this down if you made the print a bit smaller. Mm. <laughs> but all the information on there is necessary. It really is. Yes, you do need to read it. Um, all you need is to get yourself Acrobat, mate. Print it on uh, two pages per sheet. It'll be sorted. It'll be right down then. And people will still be able to read it. But anyway. Um, Good paper as well, isn't it? It's damn good, mate. Yeah, even at 3.7. The switch, 
Switch, now that he's modified it for you, is awesome for you. And it's, yeah. I didn't see it before it got modded. Um, but the Switch in itself is too poip. Yes. The one failing, well, not failing so much, but with bottom press switches, here's another device, screwdriver. That one's nice and simple to activate because the switch is smaller than the main unit and you've got the little bit there to hold on to. But that's still not a pain in the arse. No. It's still quite easy to operate. Personally, I'd give that a high 9, low 10. Yeah. Um, and not just because it's a good, solid device that's well made, but also the customer service. Because you're dealing with a proper modder, it is second to none. And this is what you find with the little, little guys, as I like to say. Yeah. Um, you get a lot more uh, interaction mm -hmm. uh, for your money. Uh, well worth it. Pop along. UK Vapors, if you're not already registered, why not? We know you're watching. We'll be round. There's also some Americans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my head normally disappears in the cloud. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few Americans trying to sneak over and uh, steal our mods. Yes. There, there, there's quite yes. a few registering lately, and yes. uh, they're coming over to see what our shed potterers yes. are doing. Yes. So uh, if you're British, you're watching this, you're not on UKV, get over there, stop the Yanks nicking all of our stuff. Yes. Because they're not going to send us anything, are they? No. And as I say, this is from Frotit. Yes. Well, just send him, send him a PM. If you look on the vendors section on the, it says on the vendors, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. On the vendors section of UKV, um, you will see mods by Frotit onto there and um, send him PM. Well worth the money. Yeah. It's fifty quid for the unit. Yes. Two CR one two three A's. A. 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 And they're the AW protected ones, which is what he recommends. Um, obviously. Batteries, stacking batteries, all the usual. Mm -hmm. um, Got to be careful. There's nothing you can do if they're going to go pop. They're going to go pop. But AWs are the ones that are the highest caliber, should we say? <laughs> yeah, but talking about pops, that's not perhaps a good. Highest <laughs> caliber uh, pop. Boom. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and he also get, he also send you a smart charger as well. If you just want to buy the unit itself, yeah, just the body itself from there. Then it's the tip. Thirty-five quid. Mm -hmm. Which is good money. Yes, it is. Well worth it. Yep. Get out there. Contact him. Buy it now. You Support him. He's also made a mod of that mod for uh, Top Fed. Yes, he has. But yeah, obviously, have a look in his thread. See what he's made. Yep. He's a damn good modder. And he makes shiny things. Yes. I like shinies. Nice one, Rob. Great stuff, mate. Another review by the Vapor Mists. Now bye. saying bye. <laughs>